binary numbers. That's right. You can see the sample right here on the right hand side. 101100. That's right. Only 0 and 1. That's it. Sorry, on the left hand side, right here, oh, base number 5. Oh, 1244. Four. Okay, base number 5 plus base number 5, 423. That's it. Okay, let's add. Okay, 4 plus 2, which is 6, right? Okay, that means, oh, wait a minute. That means 1 carry over right here. Okay, 1. That means, oh, out of a 6, 1 left. That's it. Now, okay, so 4, 3, 1, which is 8. That means, oh, 5 goes up right there by 1. That means 3 left. Oh, very interesting. Now, 2, 4, 1, oh, which is 7, right? That means 5 goes up right there. That means 2 left. Oh, now, okay, so 1 and 1, which is a 2. That's it. The answer is the base number 5. 2231. You cannot read this one 2000, something like that. That means that's the decimal number. Okay, this is the base number 5. Okay, this time, so we're going to try the exactly same digits. Okay, so 1244. Four. Okay, treat this one like a base number 6. How about that? Then, oh, so same thing right here 432. Okay, base number 6. Okay, equals, okay, just like this, 4 plus 2 is a 6, right? Oh, that means perfect. Okay, 6 goes up right here. Okay, then nothing left. Oh, what about 4, 3, 1? That's 8. That means 6 goes up right there, then 2 left. Uh-huh. Now, 2, 4, 1, which is 7, right? That means 1 left, then 1 goes up. 1 goes up means that's 6, right? Okay, so 1 and 1 which is 2, right there. Okay, 2120, base number 6. Okay, let's look at this decimal number right here. Oh, uh, decimal means, that's right, base number 10. Okay, so we don't have to write this one, but hey, I can write, okay, not gonna hurt. Okay, then we can write this one different way, just like this one. So we have a, you know, a few different ways to write, okay, uh, we call notation. That's right, so how to write numbers. That's why it's scientific notation, okay, so uh, that means, okay, uh, so big number, and some kind of numbers, a huge number, so we can use scientific notation, okay, things like that. So anyway, uh, 2,345, okay, we can write this one like this, 2 times 10 to the, that's right, this one is the 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, this one is the third power right there. Then plus, okay, so 3 times, okay, 10 to the second power, which is 100, right? Okay, 300. Now, okay, so 4 times 10 to the first power, which is, we don't have to write, but, okay, so I wrote it anyway. So now 5 times 10 to the zero power. 10 to the zero power means 1. Anyway, okay, so now all we have to do, you just calculate this one, right? Okay, this time, so we're going to try, that's right, base number 6. How about that? Okay, we treat the exactly the same number, but treat like base number 6. Okay, that means, hey, very simple again. Okay, so 2 times, okay, actually 3, 4, and 5. Right there, times, times, and times. Okay, now 6 to the 0 power. 6 to the first power, 6 to the second power, now 6 to the third power. Then we add. Oh, very simple. Okay, let's try. Okay, so twice of, that's right, 6 to the third power is 216. Okay, so you just multiply by 2, which is 432, right? Oh, 432. Now, next one, so I'm going to write that vertically. Okay, now 3 times 36, which is 7, uh, 108, right? 108. That's it. Now, 4 times 6, 24. Great. Now, 5 times 6 to 0 power is 1. That means 5, right there. Oh. So now, so we can add this one from the right hand side. Okay, 2, 8, 
four, five, which is 19. Oh, 19. Okay, now, okay, three, zero, two, which is five and one, okay, which is six, right? Oh, six. Now, four and one, five. Oh, this one is decimal number. So we don't have to write this one. Okay, now I'm going to change, okay, 569, which is regular number, which is decimal number. So back to uh, the base number 6, okay? Then, oh, very simple. So 569 divided by 6. That's it. Keep dividing by 6, okay? So 6 goes what? 9 times, right? Okay, that's it. So 6 times 9 is 54. So actually 2 left right here, right? Okay, then uh, 29. 29 divided by 6. Oh, that's right. 4 times which is 24, that means 5 left. Okay, so we can write this one like a left over right here, remainder, 5. Oh, that's it. Now, divide by 6 again. See, keep dividing by 6. Okay, 6 goes one time, then 3 left. 34 divided by 6, which is 5 times, right? Then, how many left? Oh, uh, that's it. Okay, so 4 left. Okay, now, divide by 6 again. Okay, just look twice, then Twice means 12, so actually 3 left, right there. Then all we have to do, right? Oh, this number backward. Okay, right there. Okay. 2, 3, 4, and 5. 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's it. Okay, this time I'm going to change this one, all these three numbers right here. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, 4, base number 5. I'm going to change this one to decimal number. That's it. Then, I got to write this one like this one. Okay, so 1, 2, 4, and 4. Oh, times 5 to the 0 power. This one, 5 to the 1st power, times 5 to the 2nd, then times 5 to the 3rd power. Then we add everything, okay? So I'm making, uh, make it, clean so I'm not gonna uh, put this a uh, plus sign okay now right here four three two oh that means four three and two or oh, base number five so five to the zero power so five to the first power so five to the second power then we add everything right oh very simple now so we all we have to do we just calculate okay top one Okay, 5 times 5 times 5 times 1, which is 125. Oh, 125. Now, the second one right here. Okay, 5 times 5, 25 times 2, which is 50. Oh, very simple. Now, next one. Okay, so 4 times 5, which is 20. Okay, 4 times 1, 4. That's it. Now, the second one right here. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25 times 4, which is 100. Phew, easy. Okay, now 3 times 5, 15. Okay, 2 times 1, 2, right there. Now, the right-hand side first, okay, right here, we're going to calculate 5 plus 4, 9. Oh, very simple. Now, okay, 2, 5, 2, which is 9 again. Great. Now, then one right there. Okay, so one right there. Oh, that's decimal number 199. Okay, what about the second one? Oh, that's simple, right? So 17, 100. Oh, 117. Ooh, so easy. Okay, now we're going to add this one, right? Oh, 9 and 7, 16. Oh, just like that. Okay, so that's 11. Oh, so just like this. Then 3. 316. Oh, that's the total, right? Now, I'm going to convert this one uh, to the decimal number. That means, oh, again, 2, 2, 3, 1. Then base number 5, that's why 5 times, 5 to 0 power actually. Okay, then 5 to the first power times 5 to the second power times 5 to the third power. Uh-huh. Now, third power, 5 times 5 times 5, so 125 times 2, 250. Ah, that's it. So 250 right 
there. Okay, now 5 times 5 times 2, which is 50. Fantastic. Now, 3 times 5, okay, which is 15. Now, 1 times 1, which is 1. That's it. Hey, we're going to add everything right there. The right hand side first, right? So 5 and 1, which is 6. Okay. Now, 5, 5, 1, which is 11. So, oh, just like that. Okay, 2 plus 1, which is 3. Oh, 316. Wait a minute. Exactly match it. 316, 316. Fantastic. Okay, now, let's convert this number, which is base number 7, 3, 4, 5, to the base number 9. Oh, look at that. Then... You know what? No way to change this one to directly, okay? So now we're going to change this one to the decimal number first, which is the base number 10. Okay, right there. Okay, which is the base number 10. We don't have to write, right? Then we change this one to the base number 9. That's it. Okay, the first of all, okay, so I'm going to write this one to vertically. Okay, so 3, 4, and 5. Base number 7. So, 7 to the 0 power, 7 to the 1st power, then times 7 to the 2nd power. That's it. Now, 7 times 7 is 49 times 3, so 147. That's it. Easy. Now, 7 times 4, which is 28. Okay, what about 5 times 1? Oh, that's 5. Hey, all we have to do is just add everything, right? which is a 15 plus 5, which is 20. Oh, 20 right there. Okay, then 4, 2, 6, and 2 more right here, which is 8. That's it. Now, 1. 180. Man, great. Now, decimal number 2, or the base number 9. That's it. Oh, all you have to do what? That's right. So, 180 divided by 9. That's it. Keep divided by 9, right? Okay, that means, oh, 2, 2 times 9 is 18, perfect. So nothing left. Okay, that means 0, A. Then nothing left, right here. Oh, 0. Then now divide by 9 again. Okay, so 9. 9 goes what? How many times? Twice. Then twice of that is 18. So 2 left. Now, this one is smaller than 9. Forget it. Now, stop right there. Now, all we have, I have to write this backward, right there, see? 2, 2, 0. That's it. 2, 2, and 0. Okay, this time, I'm going to convert this one backward, okay? Which is just like this, first, then this one, okay? So, let's do it now. Okay, 2, 2, 0. That's right, vertically. So, I like this way better. 2, 2, 0. Now, times times, times, okay, 9 to the 0 power, 9, okay, 9 to the second power. That's it. Okay, simply, 9 times 9 is 81, times 2, 162. Ah, oh, so 162. Now, 2 times 9 is 18. That's it. Now, 0 times anything, 0. So now, oh, all we have to do is just add these two numbers, right? Which is 180. Oh, it's right there. Oh, beautiful. Now we're going to change this one to, uh, what, back to the base number 7. That means 180 divided by 7. That's it. Okay, 7 goes how many times? That's right, twice. That means 14, so 4 left. Okay, right there. 40 divided by 7, which is 5 times. Then how many left? That's right, 5 left. Now, divided by 7. So 7 goes 3 times right there, which is now, okay, minus 21, which is 4 left, right? Oh, now backward. Oh, 3, 4, 5, base number 7. Oh, exactly, right there. Now you can do this one by yourself, right? Easy. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Okay, so 2, 3, 2, 3, base number 4 to the base number 8. Oh, that's right. So then we're going to change this one first, okay, to the decimal number first, right? We, we don't have to write this one, okay, like I said. Okay, now 
Hey, all we have to do, vertically, maybe I can write this one. Okay, 2, 3, and 2, 3. As quick as possible. Okay, times, 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 times. Okay, so 4 to the 0 power. Okay, 4. So 4 to the 2nd power. So 4 to the 3rd power. Now, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 times 2 is 128. Uh-huh. Now, 4 times 4 is 16 times 3, so 48. Great. Now, 4 times 2, 8. Now, 3 times 1, which is 3. The answer is what? You just add everything. So, 3 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 27. That's it. Okay, 7 and 2 right there. Now, 2, 4, 2, which is 8. Then one. Wow, 187 decimal number. Now 187 divided by 8, right? Okay. So now 8 goes twice. That means 16. So 2 left right here. 27 divided by 8. Oh, that's right. 3 times right here, which is 24. That means left over is how much? That's right. 3 left. Okay. Divide by 8 again. That means 8 goes how many times? That's right. Twice, which is 16. Okay. Then left over is 7. That's it. Now we write this one backward. Like this one. So 2, 7, 3. 2, 7, 3. Now, you're going to try this. Oh, man. So base number four, long number. That's right. Now change this one to the base number eight. Mm -hmm. How about this? Then you know what? I'm not going to change this one to the decimal number. It takes a long time. See? What if I have like 100 digits? What about 1,000 digits? Oh, impossible. That's why oh, I have a trick. This one costs about $1 million worth. Okay, trick. Listen to me carefully. You know what? Before that, okay, I'm going to give you this one like a homework. How about that? You try, then if you find the uh, right answer, then oh, send me. How about that? Then I'm going to call you a genius. I will wait for your answer.